the ammonia fountain. Attention! Ammonia is toxic if inhaled, can cause chemical burns of the skin, eyes and respiratory tract and is toxic to aquatic life. Hydrochloric acid can cause chemical burns of the skin, eyes and respiratory tract. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. For the experiment, some concentrated ammonia solution is added to a round bottom flask. 2-3 to three milliliters of a 25% ammonia solution are sufficient. Then the flask is closed with a stopper and a pipette. By shaking the flask, the air on the inside is saturated with ammonia. Then the flask is turned upside down and attached to a ring stand. A crystallizing dish is filled with water and placed below the flask. To the water a pH indicator was added. Then the flask is heated with a hot air gun or with a water bath before attaching it to the ring stand. At the end the pipette is submerged into the solution. The gas in the flask is then cooling down and contracts. This leads to a low atmospheric pressure and causes the solution to be soaked into the flask faster at the beginning. The experiment also works without heating but takes a lot longer. The ammonia is highly soluble in water and dissolves faster with the increasing surface area of the water. This leads to an even lower atmospheric pressure as it can be seen. The small diameter of the tip of the pipette increases the flow rate. Usually phenolphthalein is used as the indicator because it is colorless at a neutral pH and turns pink in a basic solution, but in this case phenol red was used. A more sophisticated method that leads to a prettier result in my opinion is done as follows. Two 500 ml round bottom flasks are attached to a ring stand with the upper one being upside down. The lower one can be closed with a stopper and a glass pipe which is connected to a hose. The hose is long enough to reach to the bottom of the upper flask. Next, 7.5 grams of ammonium chloride and 5.6 grams of sodium hydroxide are added to the lower flask. After adding 10 milliliters of distilled water, the flask is closed immediately. The ammonium chloride reacts with the sodium hydroxide to form ammonia, sodium chloride and water. The gas is lighter than air and is collected in the upper flask. Next, the upper flask is closed with a stopper and pipette. The flask is heated like in the other method and the pipette is then submerged into the solution. The big difference to the simple method is that the flask seems to be completely empty in the beginning. This experiment only depends on the solubility of the gas, so as an alternative hydrogen chloride can be used. To do the experiment with hydrogen chloride, concentrated hydrochloric acid can be used in the simple method, so it needs to have a concentration of above 35%. If the second method should be used, the collecting flask has to be filled upright, because hydrogen chloride is heavier than air. Phenol red turns yellow in an acidic solution. This was the ammonia fountain. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment. If you want to see more varieties of this experiment, you can watch my video here, or you can watch ammonia reacting with sodium here. A big thanks to my supporters on Patreon.